I've sort of got a process for testing out new build items from packs. We've got to do a limited pack build with just the base game and the new pack to really see how it works on its own. We've got to do an all pack build and just go all out and see how it works with other content. And then I like to build a starter home and see if it works for like average gameplay when you're first starting out with the game. I've done the first two, but I have yet to build a starter home. In fact, the other two houses that I built were like really expensive. I think they were over 100,000 simoleons and then like 65,000 simoleons each, and that's not really that practical for most people's Sims gameplay. So this is gonna be the practical build that we can kind of actually play in. I have really been liking this kit so far. I've been having a lot of fun building with it. The other two houses that I built kind of had more of like a mid-century modern vibe to them, so I wanna do something a little bit different with this. I'm in San Sequoia right now. This is the world that comes with growing together, and I'm looking at this 23 eucalyptus lane lot. I'm gonna need to bring us a sim so that we can cheat our money away. How much is the value? value of this lot. I'm gonna try and keep it at like 17,000. Will I cheat for more money than that? Probably yes, but I'm trying to keep myself humble as a starting point. I'm kind of trying to figure out how exactly I want to do this. I'm not super sure how I want it to look, and I think that we need to have two bedrooms, so I might even build those bedrooms in right away. Like, I, I might even start with that. I don't normally build like this where I kind of start with a floor plan, but I think that it's gonna be smart for us to do. Okay, here's kind of what I'm thinking, and, and this may end up getting shrunk. I'm sort of picturing the front door goes on the side like that. Oh, and, and maybe this is not good the way that it is. We have a hallway for all three of the doors, two bedrooms, one bathroom. The kitchen will kind of go in this corner. Maybe it gets shrunk. I don't know, <laughs> just being realistic. This table's 285. Oh dear. Well, hey, maybe maybe it works like this though. We can get the table kind of tucked away in the corner. You know what? We could actually shrink this again. That might be the right thing to do. If we're being realistic, we still have a lot to decorate. We haven't put anything inside the house yet. And I don't even know if I like how this looks so far. I might even end up bulldozing it. Who's to say? <laughs> Anything could happen. Oh, this is cool. I can put a chimney. I mean, it might be too expensive. We'll see. I may have to change my mind. But that's fun because I can put the chimney right there and we can have a fireplace there. What if I had a little wraparound porch thing? This is not gonna help with my money saving tactics. <laughs> I'm like trying to do this cheap and then I'm adding stuff like this. No, I don't think so. I just changed it a little bit more. I don't know if this is better. It depends what windows I want to put in the front right here. I'm also not sure if I want this to be base game or not. I think I may let myself use packs, but perhaps like just a couple packs. <laughs> like not too many, but some. Some packs. These are 150 simoleons, those counters, but, but what if I use these instead? These are the parenthood counters. The fireplace is only 300, which is actually a miracle. I'm wondering about getting a slightly bigger dining room space, because I can put the chimney there next to the dining room. I just say that because I feel like this item is so expensive. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like this item, while it is very pricey, maybe I shouldn't use it. The coffee table's cheap. But anyway, while that item is very pricey, it does work really well as a TV stand. Oh, oh. Oh, TVs don't slot to it. <laughs> I'm gonna use it anyway. They raise up. I can also size the TVs up. This one is really pricey too. That's 1500. Okay, I am once again shrinking the house. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is one of those things that just kind of has to be done. It's like a starter home rite of passage. You have to shrink the place. I'm afraid that I, I don't think it's very cute. <laughs> I'll make it cute from the outside, but I'm not feeling super good about this right now. All right, let me just pick out some necessities for the bathroom. <laughs> I guess I don't need to have these high school years doors. They are cheap than the base game doors, which is annoying because I would like to save money, but we don't need to use high school years. So far, we just have this pack and parenthood. And if we can limit it a little bit, that is totally fine by me. Listen, imagine something kind of like this because we have these really cute blue counters. There's genuinely a lot of potential here with this color scheme. Like we can totally do this. How does this look? Ooh, I guess it has that blue and red. That's kind of the vibes that we're going for. Some of the art is kind of expensive. I don't know if I can do it. It's 235, but I really want it. <laughs> Let me also just pick a random tile and like a random wallpaper. I will come back and I'll change that. I just think that it's probably a smart idea to pay for one because that way we won't accidentally run out of money and not be able to afford wallpaper. That would be bad. <laughs> Clearly I'm, I'm just going through and picking out necessities first. They have to have like the cheapest bed. Of all the things to settle on using, Parenthood is kind of funny. This is only five simoleons. That's perfect. We got 25 simoleon posters. A lot of the dressers are really expensive. The kitchen stuff is pretty expensive. They do have a different sink, although 
Although I don't really like that better. Okay, I put a desk. Okay, in this kid's room, obviously the furniture is not gonna cut it. <laughs> I swear I'll change it, but I've put a little desk, a bear, a dresser, and then the bed. I think I can probably fit a rug too, so I'll try. Miraculously, this little table, very cheap. Okay, that's just about everything placed. I need to get a trash can outside and inside. And now that we've done that, we can kind of start thinking about extras like decor and things. Beautiful, amazing, perfect vase. We have to use that. This picture works so well too. There is a massive plant from the base game that's pretty cheap. Yeah, this one's only 75, so I could probably get that in the corner. It's good because it takes up a lot of space. These apples are 140, but I want to use them so bad. Do you think I can do it anyway? Those candles are 90. <laughs> Keep in mind, okay, it is only 17,000. So we could have like an extra thousand, make it 18,000 simoleons. Okay, maybe we paint all all of the walls like this grayish color. It's a little bit bland. That gives me some room to do accent colors like this. I think that also another window would be good because it helps to break this up. Okay, chair is 180. Is it worth it? No, I don't think so. I was gonna try. I don't think it's worth it though. Neither is this wallpaper. I wish that there was like a proper plain white. I want the trim because I think it helps with the walls being a little bit plain. Like we can't afford that much wall decor. So I want to use one that has trim, but a lot of the ones that have trim are too expensive. So that's kind of where I'm struggling. That is like the perfect tile. That's so good. Of course, it's like got this weird brown that doesn't match anything, but I guess we're gonna have to use it anyway. Okay, I put another art piece right here. I think that helps. I also think that curtains would make a nice difference, but I'm a little bit shy to use them. Those are from Eco Lifestyle, so I have suddenly added in another pack. I never did say that I was really trying to make a limited pack build though. I said that it would be fun if it was limited pack, but it doesn't have to be limited pack. Yeah, I think we need those curtains. That makes a big difference. I would also just love to have some upper cabinets. Like to me, that would be the finishing touch that we need, but I can't justify spending 400 simoleons on that when I haven't decorated the other rooms. <laughs> like we just can't. I don't really wanna put too much effort into the bathroom because I'm kind of feeling like it's better to have more in the other rooms. Like my personal preference would be to decorate the kids room a bit more and like, have some more stuff in the primary bedroom than to have a towel in the bathroom. I think the kids room is fine like this. It's kind of bare bones, but it's cute, it's colorful. Oh, I don't wanna use the same bed twice. Uh oh, maybe I try this. This one's cheaper. I don't really like the look of it as much, but maybe it's better because we don't really wanna have that same bed twice. Does this come in that pinky color? Barely, oh great. Oh, let's do it like this. If we put it on this angle, there are way less empty walls and that's better. I'll get that picture above the bed. I think that it would be nice to have a lamp, maybe the orange one. One thing that I'm struggling with is these bedrooms being a little bit dark. I don't really wanna pay for extra lights though. I do think it makes a difference to have them. It just kind of hurts to have to spend the money on it. That is 118 simoleons left. Let me think about the exterior and then we can come back to it. I fear we might be on the verge of something very blue suburban, which was not my intention. <laughs> I don't really want it to be a blue suburban, but sometimes it just happens like that. Let me shrink this, save some money on stairs. We can delete the underside of the stairs. Oh, that's huge. Why hadn't I done that yet? I was gonna suggest like maybe we paint the whole thing with a little light blue brick. I understand the windows and obviously the foundation look ridiculous. So just hear me out, okay? This is kind of a different sort of blue suburban. It's like brick instead of paneling, but we've used a lot of that brick on the inside. So I think it does make for a cute addition on the outside. I need the columns, I need them. I'm so sorry. I know that it's a waste of money. I know it's a waste of money. I just can't bring myself to do it without them. It feels so necessary. What do you do? Do you paint the chimney with that same color? Do I paint the chimney white? Do we do no chimney? I mean, the fireplace isn't even in front of the chimney, so it's not like we need it. I liked it mostly as just like a visual addition on the outside, but not if we can't pick a color that matches. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of all the stairs. I'm gonna landscape this with debug. I would like to have some kind of colorful flowers outside because I do think it's looking a little bit bland. I can't believe I started by trying to limit packs and now I'm just like, forget it. Use whatever. I'm gonna look at cottage living debug. I'll scoot this over on the lot just a little bit more. I like these trees because it's three of them. Them, I think it's nice it, it like number one places a little bit off the lot I don't know if you can see that back there but it also just kind of helps to fill
fill in some of the space. Okay, I started with just bushes. I think I wanna go through and get some flowers now. While I'm doing this, I'm kind of trying to keep it slightly minimal. A lot of my usual landscaping tactics, like with the layering of the bushes, don't work because we can't pay for them. There's also some things that I still have to pay for. Like, I really want to have some trim on the sides of these, and that's just a lot of money. <laughs> it's a lot of money to pay for trim right there. Oh, you know what else? We don't even have porch lights yet. These are kind of expensive. It's 90 simoleons, but I think it'd be nice to have a porch light. Can I afford to have my stairs back if I do it like that? We'll see. If we have to delete some things or like add more money, We'll figure it out. I did pay for some extra trim in some places where it doesn't need to be. I wonder if I cheat for some money. This is annoying of me and I'm sorry, but we might be able to get rid of it. This is gonna save us like a very small amount of money, but I think it's worth it. Oh, what, four simoleons each? Oh my God, it saves me eight simoleons. That wasn't worth it. <laughs> that was a waste. Hey, you know what? Every little bit counts. I can't really tell if I've done too much. Maybe the yellow flowers are not worth adding and we just stick to the pink ones, pink and then the big bushes. There are just a couple more things that I think might be nice, like this get together longer bush. If we put that down the side, that kind of blends in. Of course, they're all different shades of green because why would they match? I think a little bit of that goes a long way though. And then we can put the trash can back there. I'll just put it up against the wall. I can could put it on a really small foundation. If we do it like that, I don't really need to have a railing. And then it's just a slight little raised up space, nothing too much. I basically put this house in a forest. <laughs> I put trees all around it. Do you think it would be weird if I got a couple planter boxes and put those in the front? Because I don't like how this is sort of empty. We could always purchase a flower seed packet. Maybe I have her plant some seeds in there. Oh, I don't like these all the same ones. No, we could try this though, and I'll, I'll make them grown. Do you, oh, you hate gardening. Oh, did I just tell her to hate gardening? That's my bad. But I could include them like that on the gallery just to have like a little bit of something else right there. How much is this house worth? 18,000. Really trying to decide if I think I should just spend the rest of this money that I have. It would make it worth 19,000. And obviously that's a much higher price, but it, it is still a starter home and it's still cheap. Oh, maybe I could use this little tree. That's only 50. Oh, I don't think it matches though. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> this one will match. That's cuter. A little bit of pink. Okay, we have 275 simoleons left. Is there anything else? You know what we could do? Forgive me, forgive me. But what if I just full send and I got myself these little cabinets? I can have my columns inside. I need it. I need it. The house, it still only costs 19,110. That's really not that bad. And I won't do anything else. I swear. I'll leave it at that. And you know what? Maybe I'll even delete two of these chairs. Okay, so it ended up being a little little bit more money and a handful more packs than I originally thought it was gonna be. But it's still really cheap and it's still limited pack. I think it's mostly just expansion packs that I used in there too, right? And there's a TV which is really nice to have. I guess if I'm using packs, I probably should put a thermostat too, right? We can afford it. That'll be useful for seasons. And then I'll put it on the gallery. Okay, I'm gonna call it the Cozy Kitsch Starter. It's two bedrooms, one bathroom. I love this. I love this pack. I think it has worked out so well. I've built three things with it now and every single one I have been obsessed with. The color scheme is just so fun. That one ended up being 19,000 and then it uses a bunch of expansion packs, a game pack, and then the kit. So we've got like tons of packs in one build, no packs in another build, and then some packs in this one. That's that's a good balance, right? Well, on that note, I think I'll end this video right here. Thank you for watching and for putting up with my three Cozy Kitsch builds in a row. I swear I'll stop using it as much. I'll still use it, but I, I won't use it for like, you know, every part of a room. We just had to experiment. It was important. And I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow, okay? <laughs> Bye, everybody. Oh, and I'm sorry that it's a blue Suburban. I just, it had to be done. For the meme, it had to be done.